Hello and welcome to a new EasyDigitals.com video tutorial. Remember, you can get all of our high quality Photoshop and Photoshop Elements templates at EasyDigitals.com. Just click on the Products button. And don't forget to sign up for our monthly newsletter. We give away free templates and tutorials each and every month, along with product update info and coupons. Okay, Kim, what easy tutorial are you going to show us today? Today I want to show you how to change the color of a backdrop. So I've got my backdrop up. I'm just going to come over to my layers palette. I'm going to click on this little icon for adjustment layers. And I'm going to come up to hue saturation. Bring this over so you can see. This is where you can make adjustments. And basically you can change the colors by using these sliders. This is actually increases saturation. This increases lightness and darkness. I'm going to change these back both to zero. This actually changes the color. If you have a large variety of colors in your backdrop like this one, you don't always have a predictable color that comes out. And that's where this colorize little check mark comes in handy, where you can actually um, change this back. You can actually change it, and it just changes to like a variation of red or blue or green and you don't have to worry about getting all those crazy colors. So it's a really quick way to be able to just change your color to whatever you need in it and it works really well. One more thing I wanted to show you on the backdrop is how to take the color out and make it black and white. A lot of these templates look nice as um, black and white so basically you just take your saturation all the way to the left and it changes it to black and white. Then you can play with the lightness and the darkness maybe add a adjustment layer for contrast and I'll have some other tutorials to show you some other things that you can do with the backdrops but this I just wanted to do this quick tutorial to show you how to just change it to um, a color that you might need hey that was easy thanks for watching if you have any questions about this tutorial or any of our products you can always reach us at easydigitals.com have a creative day